Hello, Hayley Backers here. Gonna teach you something simple, and that's how to reverse an MP3 file. It's quite simple if you've got the prerequisite software installed. What do you need? You need a piece of software called Sox, and it's gonna install a command called play. And then what you do is play MP3 file reverse. That's all it takes. But if you don't have Sox installed, how I got it was through Homebrew, and then it was as easy as Brew install socks. And if you don't have homebrew installed, I can't help you with that. It requires like Xcode, X prior code requires like this Mac App Store download that's like 4,000 gig long. I don't know. So I'm going to show you how you can reverse something on the fly off of a lovely CD. By the way, this is where your CDs are. If you're not familiar with the command line, they're under volumes on the Mac. Run away. So we'll do LS. We're going to do this one. We're just going to play it first. So the first thing I thought, of course, listening to the cars, that must be a satanic message wrapped in the song. So here's how you verify. Now, first off, you could just do this. But the thing is, for our purposes, that won't work real well because it's going to reverse it all the way from the back to the front, you know, as the word reverse means. So we're going to trim it with a starting time of zero. About, let's try six seconds. This, by the way, is the duration. It's not the end time in this case because you're starting at zero. Six is roughly equivalent. So if you start at 10, six would end it at 16 seconds after just to, you know give you a little tangent about how trim works and then we're gonna hit reverse Leave me alone. so obviously very very disappointing no satanic message at all it's just the chorus of the song basically reversed and then played at the very beginning by the way Slight note, the command order, like, it matters. If you were to pass reverse into this first, what would happen? Uh, let me remove that for clarity. What would happen is it would reverse the whole entire thing, then trim that file at the start, starting at zero for six seconds. So what you'd end up really with is a backwards portion of six seconds of the tail end of the song, which in this case we did not want. So that's why you run the trim first and then you send it into the reverse filter or whatever it be called. Right, so install socks. It's fun because you can do a whole lot of effects without having to write files or anything. You know, if you're just bored and you want to listen to your music in a new way, socks can help you, I don't know, Spend all your time looking for satanic messages and everything. Very, very important task.